Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at doing a challenge with these two golf clubs, two, two irons. We have got the King Utility from Cobra. We've also got the TaylorMade P790 Tungsten. So with these two clubs we're going to be looking at the distances, the accuracy, the spin rates and how the club face actually affects the golf ball when it's being hit. So don't forget to stay around till the end of the video to find out which one I'll be recommending for you guys to go ahead and try out in the shops today. If you're fairly new to the channel, my name is Harry, PGA Assistant Golf Professional down here at Delamere Forest Golf Club. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and switch the bell icon to all so you don't miss out on any of my brand new videos coming out every Friday at 6pm. So I've already warmed up, I've hit a couple of 7 irons, then I looked into hitting a few of the P790 and a few of the Cobra King. I'm going to hit a couple of shots with my tailor-made 2 iron first, which is the P790. It has a Tor AD extra stiff hybrid shaft in there, the orange shaft, and the grip on the end is a multi-compound plus four midsize. The Cobra King is actually my boss's, Martin Brown's, and the shaft is in that is a Project X shaft, 60 gram stiff. And the grip on there is the standard Cobra grip that comes with them, which is the Lampkin. So they are very similar in terms of lofts. So we shouldn't see a great deal of a difference in terms of distance, but let's hit a few shots and find out. Let's start off with hitting mine, the TaylorMade P790. Okay, so I've just hit around six to seven shots of my two iron. A couple of them weren't the best, especially that first shot, that was horrendous. So I'm not gonna count that in this, but looking at the actual results itself, you can see here on this screen now that around my ball speed was looking at around the 160 sort of mark with a couple going below it and a couple high of it. My launch angle on average looking around 10, 10.5 degrees. Back spin is pretty consistent looking at that. It's around 3,300 to 3,400. And then the carry distances on those, the worst one was the first one only going 216 yards, but the best looking at here was 274 yards, averaging around that 250 to 260 mark. The overall distance, my worst being 231 and my best being 293 averaging around the 267 to 270 mark. So overall, I mean, I've used this club for a couple of years now and I love it. Just the way it feels off the face, the way it looks, you know, I can just hit this club sometimes as hard as I can. And I know that it's going to go nice and low and straight down the fairway for me on those longer par fours where we don't necessarily want to be hitting driver and putting ourselves in the thick rough here at Delamere. I've had that a couple of times, I'm learning my lessons and I'm taking this bad boy way more often. So now let's have a look and dive into the Cobra King and see if that outperforms the TaylorMade.
Okay, so looking at the Cobra King utility then, I've had a couple of shots of it and wow, the feel off that face is unbelievable when you catch it out the middle. It just wants to fly and go and go. And looking at the actual results on here, I am really, really impressed with the club. <laughs> Look at them, I'm actually quite tempted to buy on myself after that. Jeez, I mean, considering it's a stiff shaft and when I need extra stiff, you could tell I hit a couple of the far left shots and pushes out to the right just because looking at that i think it's because this is a reg um, a stiff shaft rather than me using an extra stiff usually so i reckon if i put an extra stiff in that shaft the accuracy would have been there thereabouts like the two iron was and the distance would have been very similar as well looking at the results then on here you can see that my actual ball speed was very similar Topping at 166 and my lowest one being 154.8 But the first one I hit with that was not the best of shots at all Just like the first one I hit with the two iron The tailor made one Looking at the actual averages of them You're talking about 165 to 166 ball speed Which is pretty good for me, I'm really happy with that Looking at the launch angle It was a little bit higher on average Looking around 11 to 10 and a half degrees um, the side angle, however, was less, which is good. The spin rate dropped slightly. I had a couple that came out at just under 3,000, a couple just over 3,000, averaging around that sort of mark. 3.2, 3.3 three again. However, I reckon if I got an extra stiff shaft put into this and gave that a go, it would have been a lot more consistent. So rather than having that 3,600 one and the 2.7, I'd probably say I'd be averaging around the 2,900 to 3,000 mark. So less spin for me is great because of how hard I hit the ball. The ball spins up too much, so I need something in there that's going to make the ball come out low spinning so that I can keep the distance up, but also keep the accuracy up as well. Looking at the actual carry distances, my worst one was 240 yards. And... Considering the, the worst one I hit with the TaylorMade was 213 yards of carry, and that's 240 yards. And to be honest with you, I must admit, the way I hit those two shots, they felt exactly the same. So I was not expecting to see a good, what, 27 yards more, 28 yards more, which is quite ridiculous. Looking at the actual results there as well, the carry distance averaging, looking at that, it's around the 270 mark. I've had a couple going around 269, one pumping out at 283. And then looking at the actual total distances, God, I'm averaging near, well, over 280 yards with this thing. I've got a 259, which is my worst, 289, 288, 286, 296, and a 304 yard two iron. So looking at those results straight away, this club is going an absolute mile further than that tailor-made that I'm currently using. So the tailor-made worked a lot better in terms of accuracy. Looking at that, it could have been down to two things, the shaft, but also the actual club head itself. That club head is designed for a bit more accuracy over distance, whereas this one being a thicker sole is designed for more distance over accuracy. So it's quite interesting what tailor-made and Cobra have put into these two clubs. Very similar designs, apart from the Cobra King has a much thicker sole to it, giving that club that extra distance over the TaylorMade P790. Now, just to end things, I'm going to be hitting two shots each with these two clubs. I'm going to be doing my full long drive swing. Let's see which one comes out on top. Which one do I hit the furthest? Before I go ahead and give this a go, make sure you comment below and let me know which one you think is going to win. Is it the Cobra King or will it be my tailor-made P790. Keep on watching till the end and let's find out.
the long drive, the two iron of the TaylorMade P790 came out on top by only just five yards. So looking at this club here, the TaylorMade P790, it came out at 298 yards total at his best with the utility Cobra King coming out at 293 yards. So overall, looking at these two clubs, they're both great clubs to be trying out at the driving range at your local golf club. But overall, I think the Cobra King utility is the easier one to hit with the bigger cavity. It's going to help you get more distance off the tee with that, again, lower ball flight, making it easier for all you guys to play better golf. For someone who's interested in accuracy, I would focus more on the TaylorMade P790 UDI 2-iron just because of the thinner sole and the way it's been designed it's designed for more accuracy over more distance but I think looking at those there the TaylorMade came out on top because the shaft I am using in my 2-iron is fitted for me so it's likely that when I'm swinging faster this shaft is going to be able to handle the pressures of my swing more than just the standard stiff shaft that's in the Cobra if you want me to try these two clubs out again in the near future, let me know and I'll see if I can get an extra stiff shaft just like this Catalyst Project X shaft and see the differences. Will there be any differences? Let's find out. Comment below. I want to see 10 comments down below to let me know that you want this to happen again with this club having an extra stiff shaft to challenge the TaylorMade P790. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go and smash that subscribe button to keep you up to date with all my videos, tips, drills, fun challenges coming out every week at Friday, 6 p.m. Thanks for watching till the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.